I just need you to know how much I love you, Ryan. Or loved. And I never want that to be a bad thing. Ever. So, um, what I mean is, um, <laughs> wow, this is harder than I thought, but I'm going to get through it. Um, I want you to be happy, Brian, with or without me. And I know it would be hard, you know, to get through, well, it better be hard, but eventually you would move on. It's true, and I want that for you. To love and to be loved and to have someone that gets you, like I do. Like I said, you know, I hope you're never watching this because I feel like a complete dork making it, but um, if you do, <laughs> I love you. Be happy. Very happy. Get you anything else? No, no, I, I think we're fine. Hmm. Thanks. So, did you find out anything about him when I was gone? He's as mysterious as ever. Okay, I think I want to try. Hmm. Brother Clarence. I, I can't thank you enough for taking us in. Ah, uh, the church is like a little safe harbor. I know uh, you folks uh, would like to be home, but I really find you delightful company. Thank you. You are my Christmas wish come true. Do you have a Christmas wish? Well, uh, if I could wish for anything, it's been kind of a rough year for us. Hmm. So if I had a special magic Christmas wand, I would try to erase all the suffering Zach has gone through. No. Just... Wipe the slate clean. Yeah. But aren't we the sum total of all our experiences, good and bad? Yeah, I guess. So if you had a completely... Uh, New beginning, wouldn't you wipe out um, things you love and things that people love about you? Well, given the last year or two, it might be worth it. And be careful what you wish for, young lady. Right. Well, I should probably get back to my husband. Thanks for listening. in the storm and my car died. Okay, now it's your turn. Zach Slater. Uh, same storm, different car. Gonna be stuck here for a while. Yeah, I guess so. Do you want to play a game with me? Get to know each other a little better. I don't really like games. See that? We know each other better already. Boy, the kids always get it way too early on Christmas to suit me. Oh, you said it. That's why I always sick them on the stockings first. That buys me a couple of the stockings. extra minutes the in the stockings. The stockings. The stockings. Don't you have the no, stockings? I don't Did you get candy? No. Well, we. I... Oh my lord! What happened to you? I lost control. I'm not supposed to do that, but I guess that's what I did. No, Jade did not lose control. David took 
control the way he always does. What's wrong with my wife? What's what's with that reaction? She's really that protective of him. She she can't see through his. I just I mean hey, just listen to me, right? You're forgetting where she comes from. She grew up with a Janet from another planet as a mother. Okay, the only woman in the world could rack up a body count with one hand and reel Amanda in to defend her with another. All David is doing is plucking the same heartstrings. So I lose no matter what. That's what you're saying. Thank you for sticking up for me back there. But you didn't have to come home with me, though. I know. Well, I told you that um, you should spend the holiday with, with Jake and Trevor at your place. It's all right, Amanda. Go. I understand. I, I've been really on the fence about keeping Trevor from you. Especially after I realized this is your last chance to ever spend a Christmas with him. I mean, next year... So let me guess, you didn't want to push the issue with Jake, so you stayed away? Amanda, I am so sorry. You're stuck in the middle again. You're always in the middle. Sorry. Hello? Can you talk? No, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not on call anymore. You need to get up here to see your patient. Things are changing fast. The numbers are off the charts. You need to be here, and I mean now. Well, there's really nothing I can do at the moment. It's not about what you're doing. It's about what the patient is doing. You're not going to believe this. It's a miracle. Mm -hmm. 